What are we going to do for ourselves to empower ourselves as individuals to be self-sufficient? Yes. What's going on, y'all? This is Pastor C, and of course, Faithful First here with BYOBB. And we have a treat for you because we want you to know that God is just moving through his people and getting things done. And it's not always about, you know, the gospel, hip hop and everything else. It is also that the word of God is going forth in practical application. We are here to make sure that the word of God is, you know, we don't want to just tell people, you know, have a blanket, you know, or, or just go and be warm. But we want to make sure that they have that blanket. They want to make sure that they have the food. And we are here today at Hosea Williams Feed, the Hungry and Homeless Foundation. People talk about um, once a, 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 a year mm -hmm. event, mm -hmm. but the reality is that you are here day after day, year after year. What happens in the times that people don't really know what's going on? What happens? Here? Well, the year round, the year round is the, is the ministry that goes forth every day. We have people here every day coming to get food baskets and many of them come in and they just burst out into tears when they get when they get the food and then we end up having a prayer service and then people end up getting saved in the office Amen. so it's, it's just full-time ministry there's counseling going on there's uh going uh, soliciting mailings all the time there's uh dealing with the media and trying to get the word out because people don't know where you're around there's a uh, crying with people holding people touching people people many times because of technology today they think they can get in the chat room and have friends and yes. be touched but people are very seldom getting physically touched by another human being in a holy way and so a lot of that goes on here so it's very active full-time ministry every day year round you know I think back when your dad was alive and and I got an opportunity to walk with him at the 20th anniversary of Selma Okay. And and I remember thinking I am so small to be standing next <laughs> to this great man, and he kept he would pat me on my head literally and say, "Baby, now let's go." And I remember shaking and thinking, "This is history happening before my eyes all over again." What is it like to live within the legacy of your father and know that he handed you the torch to continue this mission? Because the history behind it is awesome as well. Yes. Well, I remember him telling me before he passed that there's power in the poor. And I didn't know what that meant. I said, how could that be? And, 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 and what he passed on was an awareness that you must do the work because of the need. And as you do the work because of the need, you receive power to continue to do the work. And then you receive in, uh, uh, influence as people begin to see that you're serious about the work. And uh, I had to make some sacrifices. Sometimes, why 